वेरी गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड वी वेलकम यू ऑल टू दी हॉट बेड ऑफ हिस्ट्री युवा भारती क्रीडांगन दॉलिक स्टेडियम दैट विल बी होस्टिंग द फाइनल फिक्सर ऑफ आई लीग ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर एंड द टू टीम्स विल बी ड्यूकिंग इट आउट आर द रेनिंग चैंपियंस इफ वी मे से मोबर इन स्पोर्टिंग क्लब एंड दे विल बी फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट द रिसर्जेंस डेली फुटबॉल क्लब both the teams have had their fair shares of ups and downs rather talking about downs i reckon mohammedan sporting has had a very few of them but as they return to the salt lake stadium a stadium that has seen so many historic battles uh, take center stage as they return to the city of joy we can expect an encounter that will possibly do justice to what has been a glorious season for them and rishal shah had something to say let's hear the, our last match in this uh, season in uh, i league so it's uh, not easy to be ready for this match because uh, sure we did great job we won uh, i league this is uh, it was very very important but we need to play this match we will play on nice stadium uh, supporters will uh, come and we need to play this match uh, serious with full concentration with double Uh, power because we are uh, the champion now and another uh, opponent team uh, they thinking uh, how they will uh, play good against us because they want to show how they are strong against uh, the team who won a uh, championship we need to be ready for serious match i spoke with my uh, players i gave them uh, good uh, motivation they know what they need to do on the ground and i believe they will do this uh, job very well and we will win this match and delhi football club led by a man from kolkata himself a man who's grown up playing in kolkata yan cheng law on the sidelines once again what a resurgence they are savoring here of course they will like to play their part as well in this crucial match up and straight away leading from the front is what we call him let's quickly hear what he had to say ahead of the match for our final match of the i league and i'm really happy because it's against my former club and uh, against the current champions mohammedan sporting so definitely it's going to be a high intensity game because uh, it's not easy facing the champions but definitely we want to beat the champions in their home and end our season well but uh, i'm really happy that mohammedan sporting have made it to the top of the table and moving on to the next league which is the indian super league and we wish them all the very best and we hope to have a fantastic game where the fans can enjoy and end this beautiful i league in a good note hoping a fantastic game in the heart of kolkata these two teams they are all set to take yuva bharati krirangan by storm mohan and sporting of course will like to bow out on a blaze of glory before they formally receive the crowns of i league this has been a long wait for them and that's how they have lined up for today under the stick it is none other than biaka and then samad and karan out wide james and irshad in the center backs as center backs angu juan nelar and samuel in the midfield and of course edi bekash and kozlov to kick start proceedings in the forward lineup and to tell you further about this match up to tell you further about delhi football club joining me in the commentary box is bhashwar ghosh welcome back bhashwar and a very good evening for one last time a very good evening uh, rohit and a very good evening to all the viewers uh, we'll talk about delhi fc and the match up of course uh, but before that let's have a look at the lineup with calvin abhishek on goal ali shar gurtej and rahul rawat the three in the back uh, bhupinder and vinil pujari out wide tondanba akash tirki and papika sama in the midfield with kayari getting a chance uh, with hudson dias up front uh, to get some goals against uh, the already crowned champions uh, this is going to be exciting and uh, this is a moment uh, for the mohammedan fans uh, they will look to make the most of it to make it a memorable one and then the fc will look to spoil the party today's match officials though jahirul islam with a whistle in his hand uh, with assistant referees uh, shubhrat kumar purohit and springson wohengbam fourth official choishing monsan well as uh, you can have a look at the playing 11 of both the sides quite a few changes for mohammedan sporting club 
at the end of the day the job's done look at the crowd though the drums are out the flags are out and of course the cheers goes without a saying as we all know that Kolkata is one of the most predominant hubs of Indian football and uh, next season guess what three stalwarts from Kolkata will be taking yard in the Indian Super League Mohan Bagan Super Giant and East Bengal were already out there and now as the teams walk out to a guard of honor from Delhi FC Mohan Sporting Club joins them as well indeed that's a, a great gesture from Delhi FC they themselves have uh, known to have that champions touch in them they are the winners of the second division I league and have come here qualified to the I league and now where they meet the champions of this edition of the I League in their final fixture at this iconic stadium, the Yuva Bharati Kurangan. It's been a host to some wonderful and prestigious battles here. Here is one more, and they are sure enjoying the time. Where Yan Lossid in the pre match talks how he is here to enjoy the game, here to feel the crowd and entertain everyone with some good football on pitch and uh, just to give you all a quick reminder Kolkata can possibly play host to not one but uh, a double stroke of luck and that uh, is as per the official post of I League and Indian football that is because uh, Mohamedan Sporting Club will be lifting the I League trophy today and on Monday Mohan Bagan super giant another stalwart from Kolkata will have the opportunity of lifting the shield as well as they host Mumbai City FC and look at those scenes uh, on the stands uh, the Mohammedan fans have their time uh, it is uh, their moment uh, they fill the stands uh, they will do this more often once they enter the Indian Super League uh, they will become more and more familiar with time to this site of seeing those black and white brigade on the stands and the two captains Samad Ali Malik had been leading the side at the early stages of the season missed out a while for injury but he returns in the final game a few changes of course for uh, Mohammedan in that back line with James Singh getting a start uh, and no Joseph Ajay Karan Deep and Samad start after long together there's uh, Juan Carlos uh, Neller Angusana and Samuela no Alexis Comis or Kasimov they had a story against this very team in the previous fixture both getting suspended but all to be forgotten and this is a new day a new day to witness history and uh, believe us when we say that the fans they won't just flock in numbers they will flock in tidal waves altogether they are a side in fact Kolkata is a city that we know for their support of football that we know for their loyalty to the sport and this has been a sport reigning supreme for ages and once again proving a blazing testament to the city's footballing stalwarts here we go final contest of the I League and crowning glory for Mohammedan Sporting and the fans are present well there is a storyline set uh, ten years ago, on this very day, a Mohammedan Sporting were here at this very venue, 13th of April 2014. They got their last home victory of that season against Rangdajid. A 2-1 it was, uh, after which they bid adieu to the I-League. But they went down, relegated. Ten years later today, they are back here again as the crown champions in search of their final home win of the season before they bid adieu to the I-League once again but this time on a positive note as they go up promoted into the Indian Super League the Warriors of Delhi FC they will look to pull up an upset and prove a point uh, or make a statement rather beating the already crowned champions that they are also one to watch out uh, for in coming time but Mohammedan Sporting uh, they are here to showcase a glimpse to the Indian football fraternity of what is to come in future the Indian Super League gets ready to host them and this is just the trailer it is Mohammedan Sporting against Delhi FC echoing your sentiments Bashwar 
just before we kick off attacking on your frame from the right to the left in their away colors in their sky blues is Delhi Football Club attacking on your frame in their signature black signifying menace are the crowned reigning champions of Mohammedan Sporting Club and as you pointed out Bashwa last time they bowed out to despair this time they leave I League in search of further higher glory well there is a, a picture of this black and white brigade to come in the next edition of the Indian Super League but if you are here watching them this is just a glimpse of what is to come as I just mentioned uh, a few seconds of wait before we kick start proceedings uh, they will be loving to celebrate the trophy in front of their home crowd at this wonderful venue and this is one last time that they kick start proceedings in this season's uh, I League it is uh, Mohammedan Sporting against Delhi FC here and this is just the trailer Yuba Bharati Krirangan chock a block brimming to the rafters as the fans flock to the stands Mohammedan Sporting Club hoping to get a victory hoping to finish things off on a high do they have what they need to defy the late resurgence of Delhi Football Club well we don't have the answer neither do the players however they have intensity they have hunger they have a point to prove but guess who has the answer it is time who will reveal it all and to take you on a joyride of time once again introducing ourselves Rohit and Bashwar will be the narrators of this incredible tale tonight at the Salt Lake Stadium I'm so excited to watch what different can they bring out with the changes in the squad and Delhi FC they have shown difference in approach every time they've stepped on the pitch Yan Law likes to change things a lot experiment new tactics new strategies in Indian football but that sometimes has worked sometimes has backfired with Mohammedan they would want to finish with all three points and now from the left wonderful walk from Bikash he's become a fan favorite and he can be once again with the cross just behind Eddie Hernandez and Delhi FC have to be alert now this is going to be intriguing because uh, they've got the likes of Kozlov as well so Kozlov and Bikash both can be excellent players on that left wing it's all about how both of them adapt to the situation and who's the one who takes charge that's a clip there and the first foul of the evening looks like uh, it was either Bikash or Angusana will quickly confirm in fact it was Bikash who was responsible for the clip there before the referee blew the whistle and uh, the free kick has been quickly taken by Delhi FC however resistance from Mohammedan Sporting continue that's a fine ball forward however there wasn't anyone on the trail as the ball heads all the way back to Biaka Jongte and Jongte plays it along the carpet and eventually rolls it forward Eddie Hernandez so with the flick forward uh, because you can there is always support uh, Eddie Hernandez uh, and now one lined up from distance uh, Angusana I uh, thought that this was his moment as well another of those performers in this lot making the crowd frowns to his sensational strike possibly went a bit too haywire on that occasion but then the fact that he's already tasted a shot like that he will be coming harder at the opposition now from the right cross sent into the center a bit of a tussle there however Delhi FC defense does well in order to control possession on that occasion and now short and crisp passes switches it on to the far right well Delhi FC will be looking to hold on their composure and create a few chances of their very own and against all the odds against all the big names uh, 
do watch out for a few special youngsters in this Delhi FC side. Goyari is one of them leading the strike. Has scored plenty of goals at youth level for different uh, clubs, especially for Minerva and Delhi FC. And even for the Indian under-17 team in the SAF Cup. Uh, has a knack of scoring goals. Now the long ball switched to that left wing now. Delhi FC trying to make a bit of inroads. Good passing, good control as well. A bit of an attempt to stun Mohammedan Sporting early on. If they can find that opening goal quickly enough, possibly Mohammedan Sporting will have a couple of frowns on their faces. Of course, now Rahul Rawat. And now Mohammedan Sporting snatches the ball away, tries to launch it forward. Eventually, the possession rests at Mohammedan's feet. He'll need help, however. It was Juan Nella. Is it? In fact, apologies. It was Kozlov. He was trying to grab hold of. Yes, it was Kozlov. And he was dispossessed in that occasion at the expense of a throw in. A clear pull from behind there. And uh, the celebrations have begun. It is a wait of time. They would want to celebrate. Uh, on a, with a win, as we have time and again said. But Koslov is the one who scored that winner against Shilong Najong and has now turned to a hard throb of these uh, Mohammedan fans. It is Koslov, seen the goalkeeper a little off, but Calvin Abhishek has been trusted with a start today against the champions. Quite a bold decision, if we may say, because a side like Mohammedan Sporting Club, they have got an array of. Uh, marksman in their side so obviously they will be unleashing those thunderbolts from range every single time they have an opportunity and now Delhi FC slow touches onto the far left now and he needs one ball forward but then the defenders having their guards up high Mohammed Arshad and once again proving why he's such a valuable, such a priceless asset to, to the side of Mohammedan Sporting Club. And these fans as well are some priceless assets to not just Mohammedan but all the three Kolkata clubs who will now together be back at the top tier of Indian football together. And a corner for Delhi FC. Early signs from the away side and a surprise to silence the crowd. Against the run of play, Ali Shah rises the highest to give Delhi FC the lead. And the silence speaks volumes here at the Salt Lake Stadium. You can hear a pin drop because the crowd has been stunned. But what a clinical finish on that occasion. Picture perfect corner destined for the head of Ali Shah. And he doesn't miss out from that close of a range no one marking him that was even more bizarre on that occasion and uh, the man who replaced uh, Padam Chetri Biaka Jongte he remained a mere spectator rooted to the very ground and uh, much to the woes much to the surprise of the fans as the scoreline stands at the end of the seventh minute it's Delhi FC 1 Mohammedan Sporting 0 Oh wow, this is not something the home fans would have expected. But uh, I was just about to have a word or two about this defense line of Mohammed. And if anyone is uh, watching them uh, for the first time this season, uh, a rival watch maybe for what is to come in future. Just to let them all know, this is not the regular back line for Mohammed in Sporting. They've changed the entire defense line apart from uh, Irshad. And a bit of uh, visible confusion in marking. And there's a, a silence all over which can be felt. But it is a, a long way from over. And soon we might see more. But that more will hopefully be from the home side is what the fans will be thinking. But here comes the LFC again. Well, you can already hear, this, hear the crowd at one point in time. They were silent after that goal was scored. 
but they are gaining their voices back. And uh, knowing the Kolkata fans, once you arrive in the footballing hub of Kolkata, the Salt Lake Stadium, I think it's just a matter of moments that you can keep the fans silent. The consequences, well, of course, they matter. You would see them cry, you would see them laugh, you would see them leap around in frenzy. But at the same time, when their favourite team loses, they break down in tears. But still... They keep on shouting, they keep on screaming and you are talking about uh, the fans being the soul of this uh, city. Believe me, it's the fans, not just the soul. They are the life and blood, they are the soul, they are the bones of the entire footballing infrastructure of this city. And every single time, one team from the city takes centre stage, they are there in the stands, screaming, jumping, leaping drumming in ecstasy there's some energies being exchanged here it seems <laughs> and this of course isn't the first time that Ali Shar has uh, risen to score this is the third goal for the centre back in the campaign and he wasn't with Delhi FC from the start he has uh, come in the second uh, phase. Oh, that's a clumsy tackle. Nothing says the ref or it is a free kick for Delhi FC. We'll wait for confirmation. That was uh, indeed kind of a flying tackle, unintentional from both the players. But then in football, being a body contact sport, I think you would see them happening frequently. It was Goyari who went down after being tackled on that occasion, Mohamedan Sporting. At the moment though, they are in no rush because uh, a one goal cushion is a very slender cushion and we have seen time and time again that Mohamedan, one particular thing about this Mohamedan team is that they are well aware of their strength. In fact, that is a cheap giveaway, can be the second goal, however, in the dying embers of that enterprise, somehow, Mohamedan Sporting's defence stands tall and eventually deny another aggressive manoeuvre there from the visitors. And we talked about the change in the back line. Even the keeper is a different one, but he stands up to expectations. Lalbi Aklua Chongte, after long, has got a starter. He's been uh, one of the fan favourites uh, in uh, his youth days with the Indian international youth setup. And the 16s uh, in the past and he has shown promise that is why he was picked by Mohammedan. but here they come again being backed by the crowd every time they move forward and a long ball spotted towards Koslov a little too long for comfort and Calvin Abhishek just knows what to do in such circumstances a change of uh, wings for Kozlov today. Kozlov usually operates from the left or possibly operates more as a central forward. But today he's being asked to step up on the right. A role that we may see standing changed in the second half once uh, Andre Shonisov decides to bring on David Hamar. Because Hamar is capable of going on uh, both wings. So possibly at that point in time he will be tasked with manning that right wing and allowing... Uh, uh, Kozlov to slot into the left wing but again all of that I, re I reckon the answer will remain or the answer as Bob Dylan said blows in the wind oh that's risky and for a moment he had his heart in his mouth I'm sure Calvin Obishek do not do not take that risk against Eddie Hernandez a lucky escape there look at that I thought he had more time. Pouncing onto it like a predator. Thankful he will be that uh, Eddie Hernandez didn't get a touch. But Delhi FC come again. He's someone, uh, Eddie Hernandez, who always has his eyes open. He manages to get an eye out. That's a free kick for sure. A bit of a cumbersome move there from Vinil Pujari. Another man who has been doing the rounds in Indian football for a while now. It was uh, Samuel Lalmwan Puya who was trying to break free from the clutches of Vinil at that point in time. But then 
Again, Vinil Pujari couldn't really bring out the challenge that was expected of him. And here comes Mohamedan Sporting once again. Again, it's good to see that Mohamedan Sporting, they aren't really hitting the panic button straight away. They haven't really pressed the SOS button at the moment. They are cool, they are calm, they are composed and they are trying to stick to their own brand of football. One where they build from the back and come forward in passes. Kozlov now plays it on to the right. The flag goes up this time. They will have to return disappointed into their own half. And there have a look, it was uh, Samad on the overlapping one. We have seen him do that time and again. It was just offside maybe when the ball was released. Well, we were talking about the panic button a while ago. And... Uh, well, rightly so they haven't done and why would they because uh, they are a team who know their strengths well 43 goals scored in the season just 19 conceded in 23 matches they have been unbeaten in 11 matches now and that really gives them the added confidence the backing they're just down by one the one thing they need to make sure is that they did not let complacency kick in which he saw in real Kashmir earlier in the day but uh, if not for that they will sure have a chance to come back in this. This could have been an incredible opportunity if uh, the ball could have been kept in play. However, a bit of a heavy first touch, slightly miscued as well. Allows uh, Delhi FC to recuperate. And now they... Oh, in fact, that could have been another cheap concession. Delhi FC will have to be careful. Morbid and Sporting are relentless and they are extremely unforgiving. If they keep on doing mistakes as such, they won't be lucky time and time again. Kozlov now from the right. And here comes Samad Ali Malik. Samad looking for some space there, finds help. Good high press there from Delhi FC as well. Matching Morbid and Sporting energy, ounce for ounce. Angusana from the center of the park. Uh, both the midfielders from Mohammed and Angusana and uh, Samuela, uh, they have the knack of finding those long balls forward. And uh, Samuela is the one who provided that assist for the goal that won them the championship. Often we say that uh, in a manner because that is a special moment. Uh, but it's of course not a single goal which won them the championship. It's every goal, every defensive contribution. Uh, Delhi FC uh, looking very very eager to outperform the hosts this evening well uh, absolutely every goal matters but that one particular goal of that very moment I think that is special that certainly remains special whether it is uh, Kona Aguero of Manchester City whether it's uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer for Manchester United and maybe if we ruffle a few names in Indian football as well, of course, who can forget uh, the bigger names, the likes of Baichan Bhutia, the likes of Jose Ramirez Barreto. Here comes the cross! Could have been the equaliser! Eddie Hernandez, uh, so close yet so far. Look at how the crowd, they know that they are going to come back. That is how their expression is. Eddie Hernandez almost finding the equaliser, missing it by whiskers on that occasion. And that's where the intelligence comes into play. The run, just deceiving the centre-back, coming from behind and making the run through a fine cross from Karandeep. Oh, should have, should have hit the target, Eddie Hernandez. Uh, from a man of his stature, his abilities, uh, we expect that. But then, that is one of many chances to come. But it has, this has been a fast-paced game. 18 minutes uh, into the match. 1-0 in favour of uh, Delhi FC. High intensity fixture, high octane football. Jan said it in his interview itself that this is going to be a high intensity clash. And I think both the coaches, Andrew Shonashov and Yang Sheng Law, both of them are living up to their expectation. Here comes across Eddie Hernandez, almost sniffing out another possible chance for an equalizer, providing hope to the fans. 
kept away from the ball in the dying embers. Now this is going to be a tough outing for Delhi Football Club's defence. At the same time, Mohamedan will have to find the back of the net. Merely going forward in pursuit of the goal won't get the job done. Mentioned about a match 10 years ago on this very day at the start of the game while introducing. And during that time in that I League, we'll get back to it as he lines up for a shot. Uh, good collection from Calvin. You would see some slip, but Calvin didn't. Uh, then EFC bench already having some discussions. You need to have the discussions alive because. Uh, Mohamedan is one team whom you cannot be just, you know, content with by scoring one goal against. You've got to keep on calibrating your strategy, recalibrating it time and time again. And we were talking about uh, goals on glorious purposes. We were talking about names in that very special moment. Goals that won them the game. The last time a team from Kolkata claimed the I-League, it was back in... Uh, 2019 2020 and a certain name that did the rounds was of Papa Bawakar Diawara who scored that winning goal for Mohan Bagan before they joined ISL if we may say and now at the moment though let's see if Delhi FC can continue with their domination wherein they keep on facing resistance from Mohammedan Sporting and here's a chance for Mohammedan Sporting trying to hit their opposition on a counter that's a lovely bit of manoeuvre there. Nimble-footed work. Hoping for some more support. Is there still some space for a cross? There comes the cross. A bit too far away. Kozlov onto the far right. That will go out of play. Eventually resulting in a throw. Sense the situation. Kozlov has left it. The crowd eagerly waiting to see their first. Another delightful ball in. Eddie Hernandez was in for one. But Kelvin Abhishek have to praise him for that leaping collection. Well, well, well. This could have been absolute disaster for the Delhi FC defence. They had no idea where was Eddie Hernandez. And look how Eddie places and times his run, takes his time, eventually figures out where the cross is going to be and then starts tiptoeing his way close enough to the goal. And there are a few players on the bench as well who may be summoned in the second half if things stay like this, uh, this for Mohammedan Sporting. The likes of Kasimov uh, and one of the fan favourites, any guesses on who? Uh, David Lalansanga, he's on the bench as well, might see him later in the day. But uh, talking about the bench, oh that's a cheap giveaway, Koslov latching on to it, the keeper was off, uh, a grounded effort, uh, just crawls uh, away from that uh, bottom corner. I think Koslov should have done better than that he should have gone for if he was anyway going for that shot from distance like that I reckon he had to take it aerial or else he could have set up uh, this man himself Eddie Hernandez he was stationed out there waiting for a delivery and if uh, Eddie would have gotten the ball he was in a much more fav favorable position to try and convert that and uh, we all know about Eddie's shooting prowess all the way back to the goalkeeper, Biaka Jongte. A bit of pressure on him, but he comes out with flying colours. Pressure is the key word here at the moment. Uh, and that is why these uh, forced clearances coming in from Karandeep uh, on the left. Uh, he started ahead of Zoding Liana was leading the team for majority of the league with the captain Zamband down the left hand side in the left channel 
Delhi FC have come here with a plan which is clear. And the last touch was off Mohammedan. It is a corner. A very, very unexpected start for the home side. Challenges for Mohammedan Sporting rising at the moment. Delhi FC floats in the corner. Not really the best of headers, to be honest, and eventually resulting in a goal kick. Which means Mohammedan Sporting on that occasion will stay safe and sound. And could have been better, but I reckon he went too much underneath the ball. So the ball kind of skied up instead of going in that lateral, in that flatter direction that usually takes the ball goal bound. Perfectly done to find Koslov. Uh, Juan Carlos uh, Nella. On point passing at the moment uh, from Mohammedan Sporting. They are eager to get back. Uh, trying to be clever. Is there a foul in the mix? Uh, and nothing says the ref. Uh, it is a uh, good stage uh, who clears it away. And every time Mohammedan uh, move up in attack. There's a road moving up uh, the gallery, the stands, uh, which will only grow with time. Back to Captain Abhishek. And uh, just a while ago, I was talking about uh, the benches. And if we have a look at the Delhi FC bench, too, even though too early to talk about the bench, but uh, just because I mentioned there is uh, a big name in the likes of Sergio Barbosa. Sergio Barbosa will have to wait because Mohammedan Sporting are on the lookout for another chance. However, it has been well controlled by Delhi Football Club as they will have a goal kick. Yes, you're talking about the bench. Of course, Sergio Barbosa, he has been the crux, the nexus of the Delhi FC's resurgence. So obviously, he may play a role later in the game. But another important name, in fact, a couple of names that I'll really like to uh, see later in action. One of them would, of course, uh, be that of uh, Munmun Timothy Lugan. He's uh, shown time and time again that he can be an asset under the pump. That's a foul there. Looks like uh, Hudson Diaz has been brought down. And the referee uh, laying down the law. The crowd not really happy with the decision. Neither is Andre Shonashov. And we know when uh, Kolkata, in fact, a card is in referee's hand. We'll have to wait and confirm whether the card was shown or not and if it was whom was it shown to and possibly be to it looks like Hudson Diaz was the one with the elbow there and then a bit of word exchange pretty unclear to both of us I think it is the way Hudson Diaz went down but it clearly looked like an elbow from uh, but it was more of a 50-50 challenge, both of them going for it. Uh, or was it Pape Gassama on that occasion? But uh, Finil is moving forward. He's got a throw in. Delhi FC. So far their plan has been working. But there's a lot to come. There's different uh, approaches and variety to be seen from Mohammedan's attack. They will come out with a different plan sooner or later, I'm sure. Calvin again taking a bit of a risk. His shot stopping has been good, but the clearances, a few of them, has been questionable. Oh, intelligent pass forward. The flag is up, I fear. And Hudson Diaz wouldn't get his opportunity. Close call. You know, one particular thing about this game, every single time, well... Uh, that looks like it was a tight call, but then Hudson Diaz was offside. And yes, getting back to the discussion, I think, uh, well, this is the last match, and Marvel and Sporting have already been crowned the champions. But the fact that uh, when you see, when you look at uh, Andre Shonishov, when you look at how animated he is, it just tells you that every single match has been important for Marvel and Sporting. And Andrew Shonishov doesn't want a change in the attitude, even if it's the last game. And I think that 
is possibly the winner's mindset that we talk about. Being hungry till the very end, till the final whistle blows. That was a decent back flick and the ball now remains at Mohamedan Sporting. Lovely work there now from the left, possibly hoping for more numbers in the box. Played it towards a far post! In fact, Kozlov's attempt takes the deflection. But good work once again by Abhishek Calvin, throwing his body along the carpet to collect that comfortably at the end of the day. But look at Bika spotting Kozlov. It looked like a cross towards Eddie, but it was accurately done. He was looking for Kozlov, who brings it down. And with the first time shot, didn't connect well, I would say, to be fair to him. Could have brought it down, tried for a curler again. A type of a goal which is scored in the previous uh, fixture. Johnny Schaffer, very animated at the moment. Uh, he's not happy, clearly. And now some pressure coming from Mohammedan. The high press uh, has been activated. And just a while ago, I was uh, calling back her. Uh, calling rather on that match of 2014 but in that time in the league uh, the champions that season were Bengaluru if I'm not mistaken and then East Bengal and Mohun Bagan were all there together and now just a few months from now Mohammedan will be back with all the three named Bengaluru East Bengal Mohun Bagan and uh, they have opened their entrance store another forward pass then the FC might make it too oh well told you to watch out for Goyari. He is lethal in front of goal. And Rechernyshov's headache has increased. But Jan Loa's smile gets brighter, I'm sure. And the home fans are stunned. Driving a stake through the heart of Morbid and Sporting. What a phenomenal strike there. Got the opportunity. And he took that with arms wide open. Yen Law is pumped and so is Delhi FC. Once again, a closer look at this one. A brilliant release. And just where Goyari had to be, he was stationed. Picture perfect. And bam, sends it screaming past the advancing likes of Biaka Jongte as the Delhi FC makes it 2-0. And there's where... You do not want the absence of the likes of Joseph Ajay in the back line. Such a big miss. A bit of rotation understandable. Not sure about injury concerns, but uh, now Mohammed and they need to step up. This is one rare occasion when they have conceded two. And they did concede two against Churchill Brothers, but they managed to score three and win the game. Testing times for the champions. And Delhi FC, they're on a winning spree here, yeah? a hat-trick of wins coming into this one. A draw just before, four matches unbeaten back-to-back. -back. Uh, they have form in their favour. They've scored six goals against Rajasthan United and three against Shillong Lejong. Nine goals in their last two matches and two here from Delhi FC. Look at Andrei Chernyshov. A very animated character, knows the importance of this clash and knows how critical every single minute is going to be and Mohamedan also knows that they will need a goal early enough because uh, Delhi FC can be one team will be growing stronger with every passing minute with growing time Kozlov once again being blocked by not one but two men eventually a bit of push from the back uh, winning Kozlov a free kick from a pretty deadly juncture can very well be a goal scoring chance Yes, of course, there was a lot of resistance from the goal scorer Ali Sher. And finally, in order to stop Kozlov from just breaking free, he had to push a gentle nudge from behind. Not a friendly one, though. Well, really he pulled from behind and uh, Calvin just adjusting his wall. There are options. The left foot of Kozlov and Juan Carlos Sunella. And uh, a few right-footed options, uh, too. We'll find out who it'll be. But Bikash is one of the odd free kick takers. I'm sure he's not getting the opportunity, but Samuela, we have seen him drive those in in the past. Do we have a crazy finish? Who is it going to be? 
Samuel takes one and danger is not over though ball still remains with Eddie Eddie looking for more options eventually plays it slightly far possession lingers at the feet of Mohamed and Sporting there comes the cross danger barely clawed away and eventually Delhi FC will have the last laugh but you've got to praise that strike from Samuel absolutely impeccable stretching Abhishek Calvin to his fullest but at the same time praises for Calvin Abhishek too time and again just coming out when needed making those saves and maybe the change in goal has really worked in favor of Delhi FC we know Navin Kumar has been, had been doing well there are no questions on that but then the youngster given his chance has been performing and uh, Mohammedan they do not like it I'm sure when you come to the champions 10 you try to hurt them and they will surely come all out at you that's what at least we expect from Mohammedan they have names on the bench that can make the difference here's another long cross coming in from the right and Delhi FC will eventually regain control referee wanted to give advantage but on that occasion Samad Ali Malik will be going into the books of the referee there the captain of the side will have to be slightly more careful from there on once again it looks like it was uh, Hudson Diaz yes that was Hudson Diaz in fact as Samad Ali Malik a bit too late and I think that was slightly unnecessary as well kind of hurling his uh, uh, foot into the knees of Hudson Diaz and as he receives treatment once again a quick uh, recapitulation of what has happened so far Mohammedan Sporting Club started the game on a feisty note but then Delhi Football Club they were quick to take over the reins and eventually pump in a couple of goals this was the first one headed in by Alisher drawing first blood for the visitors and then it was a Goyari with a clinical strike a thumping header from Alisher just announcing his intentions and now announcing the intentions of the visitors and that was the celebrations after the second goal of course this was the second goal a bit of uh, pre-recorded celebrations just to give us the kind of tone the kind of mood that Delhi FC is in Pindu, Bishwas and Rachanishov all on the bench the likes of Lalit Thapa, Allison and the assistant coach every one of them have played a role together to build this side but uh, right now they're having one of their toughest tests they've already won the title but, uh, Oh well, play on says the ref. Another lovely pass through the defense. Goyari is on it. He just missed by margins. He cannot believe it. But that little burst of pace from the youngster. Well, that spark is all about uh, Goyari. That spark would have exploded into a wildfire consuming moment in sporting here. Yeah? Lucky for... Uh, the goalkeeper of Mohamedan Sporting, Biaka Jongte. But what a sensational move there from Goyari. Had a hint, sniffed out an opportunity and was quick to latch on to it. And here's a long ball this time, however. This man today, Abhishek Calvin, what a game he's having. In fact, he has been such a towering force. He's up against two of the finest names of the tournament. Kozlov and Eddie Hernandez and his conviction is absolutely unwavering once again a bit of pressure and that is just one thing which he needs uh, to better in and those clearances but everything Delhi FC are doing is going in the right direction Papi Kasama again at the receiving end of some harsh treatment a bit of frustration creeping in already quick exchanges there we'll look at that control oh late late challenge from Samuela he'll be lucky if he avoids a yellow but uh, 38 minutes played 39 2-0 
for Delhi FC. He could have so nearly been three. Samuela's free kick saved by Calvin. Quick one taken onto the far right. Expecting a bit more numbers out there before they can go forward with the cross. Trying to sneak one through but has been denied any entrance altogether by the hosts. Balls back at the feet of Delhi FC as they twist and turn around. Does well, does well to control the ball, please it on to the far left. Delhi FC once again knocking on the doors. Can they find another opening? Does well to keep the ball under control there. Vinil Pujari and eventually the ball taking a deflection, going out of play as a corner will be awarded to the men in blue. Well, this score line just brings me to a question mark here. Mohammedan won the title in the previous match itself. Really lost a bit too many points, and that is where they finished second. But there was a double header fin finale lined up here. We'll get back to the discussions shortly after this corner kick uh, delivered towards the far post. Missed by everyone. But just getting back to it, uh, there was a finale lined up with uh, Mohammedan playing this match against Delhi FC and Srinivy against Lajong. Srinivy have already won 3-2 against Shilong Lajong. But the, because they are out of contention already, so no further discussions. But had Srinivy not lost points, we were all imagining that this would be an easy fixture for Mohammedan Sporting. This is not how football works on pitch. On pen and paper, it might look one way. On pitch, it is different. And Delhi FC just showing that you might be the champions of the I-League. We, the Warriors, never, never back out of any contest. Yeah, absolutely, Bhaskar. I mean, it goes without the saying. Football, as I, as I often say, that every single time you play a new game, no matter in pen and paper, it may be a David versus Goliath clash, but at the end of the day, every single game begins from the scratch. Even today afternoon, like real, like the way Real Kashmir went down in their own fortress, uh, and that too against a team that is uh, far less uh, tactically advanced than they are. But it was an entirely dominant display from the visitors. Here can be a possible opportunity for Mohammedan Sporting as they come from the left, looking for some space there. Bikash saying, Bikash making his way into the penalty box. But then a thumping clearance there from Delhi FC, eventually denying a shard of glory to the host there. But Bikas saying what a tournament he's had and what a run he's been in the midst of. And here comes Kozlov, sets it up nicely onto the right. There comes the cross. Possible header attempted, but it eventually eludes, uh, eludes in fact, everyone. As the frowns on the faces of the fans uh, keeps on intensifying. Here come Mohammedan. Their attacks uh, have gone silent in the last few minutes. They're falling short of options. Bikash. Can he turn provider again? Karandeep. Uh, hopeful cross in, but blocked by Bupinda. He's done so well, Bupinda. Defending, attacking. Marvin Sporting once again. from the right switching flanks Kozlov Kozlov expecting some help expecting more numbers in the box trying to put off a bit of artistry there could have been another phenomenal strike but Eddie Hernandez Eddie Hernandez in fact I think that was a clinical opportunity possibly was going slightly away from him he couldn't really reach out as he would have anticipated but what a chance what a cross just a bit away from Eddie Hernandez, tried to get the leap in time, couldn't connect well. But Eddie Hernandez has got the ability. And uh, well, it is just a wait of time, maybe. I'm just having a feel. And there is uh, Mr. Kalyan Chove present in attendance. Uh, and the trophy will be awarded and celebrated today itself uh, here right after the match uh, but uh, what i was saying is uh, just getting a feel about uh, we might soon in the second half see the likes of Zoring liana 
and uh, Kasimov, uh, David coming on. And you said a while ago when Kozlov was an attacker, how uh, uh, he was looking for options, he was waiting for options. That option in that hole has been David Lalansanga throughout the season, which is missing today. The formation is a 4-3-3 uh, three, three somewhat with uh, Juan Carlos Nello, Angusan and Samuela. All those three like to stay in the center, like to stay in the middle of the park. But with David, you add a different dimension to that uh, midfield. He moves up, moves down, is more of a striking player who is uh, deployed to that role. And he moves wide, takes a lot of workload on his shoulders to combine uh, with uh, all the players around him and create those opportunities. That's why he's special. And that's why he's so much talked about. Yeah, absolutely. I think David Hamar, he's been a sensation, a, a phenomena altogether. But yes, another name as well uh, that remains now in the, on the bench rather. That is of uh, their skipper in the absence of Samad Ali Malik. That's Adinga. Uh, and uh, Adinga is a defender, yes. But then he can slot into that role of a defensive midfielder as well. Kind of a snatcher out in the midfield an experienced player three minutes of uh, additional time and Hashwar this has been such a fast-paced encounter I reckon we have lost count of time as well and that is what happens when two fine teams when two high octane teams uh, start duking it out with each other start going for each other's uh, jugglers with claws and fangs being bared out uh, however at the moment Delhi FC they of course had the last laugh uh, or rather so far they are leading 2-0 but again the football being a game football being a tornado being a vortex of uncertainties being a masterclass of twists and turns it can change at any point in time three minutes have been added on one already played and two is what Mohammed and have to reduce the deficit Another ball towards Koslov. Uh, just a bit heavy. Uh, not real timing on that. Koslov is getting a bit frustrated. So is Samadali Malik. Uh, and uh, Kelvin, he's had a pretty bright game so far. Under the sticks for Delhi FC. I'm not sure what Andrew Chernyshov is uh, thinking. They've lost only one match in the entire season. They wouldn't want to finish with their second defeat, I'm sure. And uh, they come out with a different plan. But then Delhi FC have their secret weapon intact in the likes in the form of uh, Sergio Barbosa. They're having possession in the midfield again. 2-1 will always look better than 2-0. They can pull one back before halftime. In the dressing room uh, talks and discussions will just be better if that is made possible. But then right now it's all Delhi FC. You talked about uh, Delhi FC secret weapon. Just uh, adding to that, I think even Morbidan has got their secret weapon intact. Now, what is it? We'll get back to that. A bit of pressure on uh, Calvin at the moment, but Calvin uh, comes up with flying colours once again. And yes, uh, Morbidan's uh, secret weapon has always been a very solid formation. Now, they've got the likes of Kasimov, they've got the likes of Beniston Barato, they've got the likes of Adinga and David Hamar. So if these four are introduced into the mix at the moment though, Delhi FC might have a chance to triple their lead which can be a telling blow into the aspirations of all the aspirations of Mohamed and Sporting. Here comes a shot but that was dragged wide and yes, getting back to the discussion quickly. Uh, so if uh, they bring in the likes of Kasimov and Adinga, that means the defence gets bolstered and then with the inclusion of uh, David Hamar, he covers a lot of uh, space up front, he takes a lot of workload and then if he is joined uh, either by Beniston Barreto, well that's that uh, at the end of first half, we'll have this discussion later of course. But as things stand, Delhi FC will be going into the tunnel with the 2-0 cushion, silencing the crowd. Ali Shar and Goyari, the scorers. The fans a bit frustrated at the moment, so is the team. We'll surely see certain changes coming on. Already being sent to warm up and Rachanishov. He is very eager to get the win here. A bit of discussion going on between James and uh, Karandeep too. Both of them have been given a start today ahead of uh, 
and Joseph Ajay and Soring Liana all to play for here I wouldn't be surprised if the champions uh, come up with shining bright colors uh, but at half time it is uh, Delhi FC 2 and uh, Mohammedan sporting nil uh, the half time stats here ball possession 59% in favor of Delhi FC 41 for Mohammedan six shots from both the sides two on target from Mohammedan three on target from Delhi FC a few fouls here and there two yellow cards both for Mohammedan and three corners all for Delhi FC well, Delhi FC certainly has uh, dictated proceedings time and time again. But then Mohamed and Sporting, they have surprised Delhi FC with their shots as well. Eddie Hernandez with a couple of them. Kozlov with a couple of them came close on uh, two occasions. Angusana and Samuel with one shot. In Samuel uh, unloaded that belter of a free kick which was defended well by Calvin. Goyari with that uh, stunning finish and uh, two more shots as well. Alishair of course with that goal and uh, Rawat with a shot and Tondomba with a shot as well. But apart from that, this has been a pretty physical encounter as well. Five fouls from Mohamedan Sporting, Bikash, Joa Nellar, uh, Karan, Samad Malik, uh, Samad Ali Malik in fact, and Samuel, one foul apiece. And uh, that has really meant a business. Despite the fact that they are still trailing, but it goes without a saying, they will look to fight back. Of course, four fouls from Delhi FC, Vinil Pujari with a couple of them, Alashair, uh, his name is everywhere, whether it's fouls or goals or shots. Uh, and of course, Turkey as well, Akash Turkey, uh, who went forward and had a foul. Well, uh, quickly, to give you all a heads up about how action unfurled, uh, here's a glimpse at the highlights of the first half of the final clash of I-League 2023-24. But that is positive from Delhi FC. It all started with an attack from Muhammad and Angusana. Shot wasn't a bad one, but this was the moment of blow for Muhammad in sporting. But uh, what I was praising about Delhi FC is how they showed respect off the pitch. But on the pitch, they were very eager to just take on the champions with full force and get all three points here. And they're leading 2-0 deservedly. A few more chances for Muhammadan. Eddie Hernandez, that should have been on target. And this one as well. Calvin Abhishek just diving in the way. Well, a lot of chances were there. Then this yellow card that was being handed over to Juan Nellar. But then the chances kept on coming for Mohamedan Sporting. This was another fine chance, but Kozlov couldn't connect. But then... The stunning strike, a sensational finish from the young Goyari who placed his run to perfection. Eventually wanted to take his jersey off, but quickly reminded that he will not like to have an unnecessary yellow. Another yellow card and this time it was for the captain. That was another fine uh, cross, but it was going away from Eddie Hernandez. And with that, uh, as things stand at the halfway mark, uh, Marvin and Sporting will be trailing as a Delhi FC 2. Mohammedan Sporting Club Zero. We'll quickly dive into a short breather and return with the second half. Stay tuned, folks.
welcome back everyone for second half action here in match number 156 uh, the final match of this edition's i league the already crowned champions mohammedan sporting up against the warriors of uh, delhi fc there are a few changes already coming on especially for mohammedan we'll confirm it to you soon tanmay on your screen is already on but delhi fc have brought out a surprise package they're just showing what they're all about. 2-0 uh, could have been more, but uh, they have stunned and silenced the home crowd. This will only take an extraordinary effort from the champions if they want to end the game in favour of uh, their faithful. And with me in the com box, joining me for the rest of the match. Uh, Rohit Ganguly, welcome back for another exciting 45 minutes here, Rohit. Thank you so much, uh, Bhashwar. This has been uh, a pretty nail-biting encounter because box-to-box uh, -box action. Of course, Delhi FC, they have played uh, phenomenally well. They found the back of the net a couple of times and uh, after the customary shuffle of sides, attacking on your frame this time from the right to the left, dressed in their menacing black. Uh, are the hosts Mohammedan Sporting and attacking on your frame from the left to the right in their uh, OA blue is Delhi FC and yes uh, three changes uh, happening for Mohammedan Sporting they have uh, introduced uh, Beniston Barreto they've introduced uh, David Hamar and a surprising inclusion is that of uh, Tanmay Ghosh Tanmay hasn't really got much game time in this year's uh, high league but then today and Vishonashov uh, Pins his hopes on him, expects him to deliver and now coming in all the way from the left, takes a deflection along the way, Delhi FC now can have an opportunity to try and counter, there's acres of space ahead of them which means Mohamed and Sporting, they are committing numbers to the attacking cause, that's a lovely release, a bit of footwork being shown but excellent defending and a bit of push as well, now that was sensational stuff there coming in from James Singh. But how, how can you allow that much space on the right-hand side? They are trying to go on attack, which is understandable, down by two. Want to get the goals quick, Mohammedan Sporting. But at the same time, you have to be aware, this Delhi FC side look very, very dangerous. And that's some presence of mind from Calvin. And the support is still eagerly waiting, of course. Uh, this performance of uh, Mohammedan Sporting, not today's one of course, but the entire league, uh, their rise, uh, well, uh, the joining hands with Bunker Hill has helped them so much. They've also focused on youth development and the project is uh, a big and this is one step forward with that project. Two fouls from Akash uh, avoids the challenge here in the midfield. And they're always looking for the run of Pupinda. Here comes Mohamed Sporting now, again building from the back, still believing in themselves and I think that is the key to exchanging uh, the fate of this fixture. Plays it on to the far right. That's a lovely ball sent forward, does well to keep it under control. 1v2 situation, get some more help there incoming, that's a lovely cross. But well uh, intercepted as well by Delhi FC. Today, Delhi FC haven't really made too many mistakes. Uh, after a certain point in time, they have grown in the game and they are growing further in the fixture as well. He has an opportunity again. Moment is sporting. Slow and steady. Well, they have got a few more names on the bench. The likes of uh, Kasimov, the likes of Sheikh Fayaz as well, who can come out later. Adinga. Uh, to bolster their defences if needed but right now they need somebody who can score and as a result they have introduced a couple of forwards in the form of David Hamar and Benestin Barreto both of them can slot very well in the wing as well in the wings as well here's David though and solid in defence look who is tracking back it's the youngster Gayari he's got a goal to his name Look at the effort, the commitment to come back all the way down. And that is, that is what Delhi FC love to find in players 
who are ready to give effort on the pitch throughout the game. And that Samuela will take the corner. An opportunity for Mohamedan Sporting. Here comes the corner. He targeted the far post there. Mohamed Shad with the header. And uh, straight away intentions written on the wall there. That's a lovely corner to be honest. Picture perfect. The header just uh, not on target. Not the easiest of headers to execute as well when you're heading with the back of your head. Usually the target kind of gets blindsided. So you have to be a bit more precise. Also a bit of luck factor comes into play as well. Unfair challenge on Akasha, Turkey. And a free kick for Delhi FC. We're using our hands and that is uh, 9 of 10 times given as a free kick. The dignitaries uh, present there in the stands. Uh, they were not hoping. The home side to, to crumble this way. Here's Pupinda. A racing pass, current deep. Uh, now driving inside the box, uh, have to be careful, another chance for Delhi. Still in the box though. And Bupinder with an ambitious attempt, tried to call it in. But another chance goes pegging, they could have been up by three or four, what a one that from Bupinder. Brilliance exemplified indeed there. Keeping a keen eye on proceedings, Bupinder Singh. <laughs> well, some say... He doesn't have a windpipe the way he runs up and down the pitch uh, throughout the 90. And that's, uh, you know, we've heard that in the past uh, for different players. Uh, and it's always good to have one such uh, in your side. But this is one rare such uh, gem to have in your squad. The confirmation of the changes. Beneston on for Bikash. Uh, David on for Eddie Hernandez. And we also saw Tanmay Kosh coming in. For Angusana. And yes, you were talking about uh, not having a windpipe. There's another phrase that gets pretty frequently used in football uh, for players like uh, Bupinder, and that is uh, carrying an oxygen cylinder on your back the way you run, as if tirelessly there's uh, nothing for you to fear, there's nothing for you to stop. And yes, we have time and time again seen players like that, particularly in this year's I League as well. The youngsters from the Highlands have shown that uh, resilience. Here comes Morbid and Sporting. Goes for the cross, takes a deflection, goes out of the bounds, and it's going to be a throw in for Mohammedan Sporting. Quickly take it there. Looking for more support. And that's a lovely release there. Beneston Barreto. There comes a grounded cross, but too easy for Delhi FC at the moment. And they will not let it slip. The defense so strong. There's a player down in between. That is why the play has been stopped. Uh, we'll have a look at that again. It was Hudson Dias. Uh, oh, that is a high. Mm -hmm. On Hudson from Chu and Carlos Nella. Of course, trying to win the ball. But a very rough challenge. Uh, very hot weather conditions today in Kolkata. Vipendu uh, Tishwas knows this team, this ground. And of course, Indian football inside out, uh, big man. And, uh, we all saw how they celebrated, but another of the, these uh, former players, who of course know the game inside out, we saw a glimpse of Israel Gurung on that uh, uh, Delhi bench. We all know how sharp he has been in his days. Uh, Juan Carlos Nella, though, he needs to be careful. Talking about the Pendu Baswas. He's played for the Mohan Bagan Juggernauts and uh, he scored countless goals for them. And not only just scoring goals but talking about Dipendu Biswas. So one particular thing about him is he used to love scoring when his team was under the pump. And I think that's a very rare form of footballing flair, uh, thriving under pressure. So with that happening, I think he knows what it takes to come out of situations like these. And Mohamedan Sporting at the very start of this game, you said that it took them a decade to eventually reach this night. In fact, entirely and exactly a decade. It was on this very day 
where things went downhill and when they turned it around it's just miraculous or it's just uh, sensational to watch now of course it didn't come through one hand it didn't come through one mind it didn't come through one vision one unified vision of all the heads coming together the camaraderie in the dressing room the young players being scouted the likes of david hamar the likes of uh, bikas singh well all of them they came through none other than the pendo baswas a couple of changes for delhi fc and one of them is Goyari going off uh, and their star man Sergio Barbosa is ready to come on along with God of Rawat. So it is the two youngsters uh, sacrificed, it seems. Uh, Akash Terki and uh, Goyari. And just to give a reminder, I was talking about Goyari in the first half. He's got a goal today, but uh, it was the under 19 half, in fact, in which he was playing. And he scored a uh, the winning goal against Pakistan in the final was the most valuable player has played his role here and even Akash Thirki the youngsters which Delhi FC have, have got uh, he was a part of the under 17 India squad which drew 3-3 with uh, Real Madrid a while ago and uh, both of them now taken off uh, but they have played their role time for some experience and some quality of Sergio Barbosa to be seen at the Salt Lake Stadium throw in at the moment and uh, the throw in actually goes to waste which means Delhi FC will have another shy and the introduction of Sergio Barbosa Jr. and Gaurav Rawat now means just one thing that Delhi FC want more goals they want to carve a statement here yeah, and that to win the city of joy and that intention itself is a message to the footballing fans that is a sensational release but somehow that first touch kind of proved to be a bit too heavy on that occasion but danger is not over possession lingers on at the feet of uh, Delhi FC and slowly and steadily here they come knocking on the doors plays all the way back eventually inviting Mohammedan to come out of their uh, defensive shell that's a lovely snatch this can be an opportunity for Mohammedan Sporting as they come driving down the right Juan Carlos Nella a bit of a slip there and that allows Delhi FC to regain possession in fact it was Kozlov and it was not uh, Nellar, uh, I beg your pardon for that. Well, similar kind of boots, uh, and here's another chance. Cause Love couldn't control it, just away from his uh, grasp, uh, and that is better as uh, Andrew Chanishov appreciates. Uh, lovely little pass, uh, just ahead of that defensive line, but again Calvin coming up to the rescue time and again. Delhi FC, uh, they have endless uh, energy in them today. The motivation added when you face the champions and just trying to keep that uh, undefeated streak alive I think that itself is also a statement because uh, when Delhi FC started the campaign they had a few question marks around them they were not really able to dovetail as a unit and there were questions about their defense there were a lot of chinks in their armor but then slowly and steadily they grew around it they learned where they were going uh, out of uh, control but eventually when they came back and they came back very strongly Delhi FC here comes another opportunity here they come through the central channel now quick passes being exchanged and now they try and trade forward with the hope of finding a few gaps look at that look at the number of passes they've played in the midfield the control from Delhi FC there are two ways to see it one from Delhi perspective where you're playing a wonderful little passes quick exchanges the movement of the ball everything so good to watch and one one from a Mohammedan point of view this is what uh, the absence of Kasimov can do to the midfield the role of a defensive midfielder you might not always see it uh, with your eyes not m might not always appreciate it but at the same time when he's not present on the field you feel his absence that is why so many passes being allowed in the midfield credits to the FC but then uh, that is how important Kasimov is yeah absolutely I think uh, it goes without to saying somebody of Kasimov's stature he brings in a lot of uh, a lot of reliability out in the center and of course another name that possibly is missing from the likes of Mohammedan Sporting squad today is Alexis and again another goal scoring uh, 
shooter, sharp shooter rather. So yes, uh, the presence of these stars like Kasimov and then Alexis and then Joseph Adier. Of course, all these three, they make a lot of change to the side. Even Adenga is on the bench as well. So yes, uh, it goes without to saying that Mobiden is not has not really fielded their first 11, the team that has actually gone on to create all the ripples in this year's I League. But then with that being said as well, eventually I think the championship mindset that courses down. That's a that's a very cumbersome uh, move there from Juan Nellar. He'll have to keep in mind that he's already on a yellow. We'll have to be careful about that. And that is the second time a while ago we saw him going into the challenge. He has to be careful. And maybe if Kasimov is to come on, he's on the uh, bench. Or maybe it'll be Juan Carlos Nellar who will be taken off. Uh, but Delhi FC again. Going and attack down the left hand side of Vinyl with a poke forward. A bit of a push, but a fair one. Throw in the Delhi FC. And is this gonna be a sad ending to the trailer? Not the best of starts in this game. An hour played already. 2 0 in favor of Delhi FC. The fans still waiting. Well, the job's done for the tournament, yes, but then again, you always like to finish things off with a smile on your face. You don't like uh, a defeat to eventually be the capstone uh, of uh, what has been a remarkable campaign. And you have just suffered one defeat throughout the entire tournament. That's a foul there on Samuel. He goes down. It looks like it came from Pape Gassama. That yeah. was a clip, in fact. It was Papi Kasama from behind. And I'm really impressed to see the way the LAFC are passing the ball around. They've played a wonderful football. Probably one of their best matches so far uh, in the season. But, but to be fair, again, they've played such brand of football in the season um, in a few matches too. Wonderful release. We'll get back to it. Beneston here goes for the pass. The goal was open, waiting for him to shoot. Clever back heel. Samadali Malik on the overlap. David Rose. And now a chance at caller. Kelvin Abhishek is not letting anything through today. Samuela thought that this was his chance to make the stands go bizarre in celebrations of pulling one back. But not to be, says Kelvin Abhishek. I think, uh, again, it's, it's good to see that he's gone for glory there, Samuel. But he had a couple of options inside the box. Possibly could have tried those routes as well. And I think Beneston Barreto should have uh, carved a better pass. Now, Mohamed and Sporting, uh, I think they are going to come all blasters, all guns, all bazookas, all rockets blazing. They will not stop. They will not relent here. Because... Uh, They've got the players who can change the game. A possible cross was being attempted there. Samad Ali Malik against two defenders and eventually conceding possession. Also, uh, kudos to Delhi FC. Like the way they are fighting at the moment. It is simply relentless. Looks like Kozlov will be going off. And they are bringing out uh, Sheikh Fayaz. Now, that's some bold move there from Andrew Chernyshov. Because uh, you're trading two by two goals. Good to see Indian faces in the mix. But at the same time, if you want a victory or if you want a stabilized defense, I think Kasimov has to be the best option. I think at this point of time, he wants to test his bench. He's done with the job. He's won so many matches. He has won 15 matches of the 23, 7 draws. He just wants to test his bench at the moment. Uh, but at the same time, cannot be given as an excuse for a loss because uh, these are the players who've got them to the championship and uh, they have a set squad. Even the bench uh, look to be ready. But a final test for them if they can prove themselves to be starters. That's why he's giving the opportunities uh, to the likes of Tanmoy. And Tanmoy has been an experienced player though. But at the same time, uh, Peniston and uh, then right now Sheikh Fayaz uh, is coming in. And do not get me wrong, they're all having a good share of experience. But this season, they haven't got too much of starts. Another attempted cross. Here can tell the FC again from the left with Vinil. Laid off for Barbosa. 
clever attempt to not coming off well and now they might be on the counter Mohammedan opportunity opportunity for the champions Bresson Barreto can this time he knit together a perfect cross well defended there floating in from the left and it was Alisher the goal scorer earlier on for Delhi FC coming to the team's deliverance and this was better from Mohammedan but matched up by Ali Shah's defensive walk and uh, positive signs from Mohammedan but I was talking about Delhi FC's uh, attacking impressiveness in today's match and they have done it in the past but they have been unlucky at times to lose out on points narrowly otherwise they could have been in a much better situation but here is uh, Samuela the crowd will rise with every delivery Samuela towards the far post it was a plan from the training grounds but that little touch from Hudson I believe was enough to take it away Mormon and Sporting are now drumming up more intensity in this game they are looking a lot more solid they are fighting two to nails right now that's a lovely back flick, creating a bit of space. Here comes the cross and defended away by Delhi FC. Danger's not over though. Both the teams now, Mohammedan Sporting, hitting or rather throwing their metal to the pedal. And Delhi FC at the moment defending relentlessly. That's a brilliant release. Can Delhi FC find some space to get the third goal in? Here they come in, cutting back in sharply. But the Ranger, the long Ranger, wasn't on target Sergio Barbosa trying his shooting flair now just a reminder to everyone Sergio Barbosa with that shot how dangerous he can be and twice coming on from the bench he has scored a brace once and a hat-trick once in the second half itself and that is the flair he's got uh, and uh, motivation to get more goals he's already got 12 in the season which is uh, just one less than what Eddie Hernandez has got 13 that's another lovely long ball there Delhi FC just uh, intercepting in the nick of time dangers not over Marvin and Sporting with the cross a chance possibly but look at the defensive intensity the referee blowing the whistle there I think there was a bit of collision that was a quite a run from Sheikh Fayaz. Once again, the sizzling best of Sheikh Fayaz coming in. Look at this and uh, a bit of a pull from behind and then in an attempt to try and win that David Hamar. I reckon he kind of went into a bit of overdrive. At the moment, it's a free kick. David was looking to control it, turn around and shoot. Maybe that was what what was going on in his mind. But maybe he could have just flicked it cold words. That could have been a better idea. We see we saw Babovich doing that for Kuklam Kerala last evening. Look at that. So many people coming in. It was almost as if a festival today around the Salt Lake Stadium. There's one more festival lined up on Monday in the Indian Super League. But uh, the Kolkata football fans every time step up, never disappoint. Uh, they're still having a few thoughts uh, on their mind. Israel Kurung and Yan Law. Israel Kurung especially. The B has handled the team. Of course, Yan Law, we all know about. Uh, very impressive. And bringing Barbosa in the second half can be another masterstroke strategy. Here he is, Barbosa. Finds Kasama back with him. Delhi FC, cool, calm, composed, and controlled. Nice, uh, quick touches, but eventually possession conceded. Goes all the way back to Biaka Jongte. Biaka plays it further forward. And now on to the far left. Crisp passes there, Beneston Barreto trying to control that. Was a bit of a knuckle ball there. However, it looked like uh, it was slightly miscued from Barreto. Could have done better. Another Barreto who's uh, already done uh, significant ripples in 
the Indian footballing fabric is the Brazilian Jose Ramirez Barreto. That's a lovely ball sent forward. But Jongte comes to the deliverance of a steam on that occasion. Robin is holding 68 minutes, 69 in fact, is it? Yeah, 69 about to be completed, which means uh, 21 minutes of regulation time remaining. Delhi FC can drive uh, the final nail in the coffin. They're still looking for space. There comes the shot, grazes the side netting. Sergio Barboza. He is someone who doesn't shy away from an iota of uh, opportunity that can be there beneath his eyes. And he was looking for that bottom corner. Always difficult to beat the keeper at his near post, but he backs himself with his abilities. Oh, now David is on. But look at the anticipation from Calvin. Tell you what, even in this attacking display, even in all those passes and ideas, he has impressed a lot, Calvin. And credits to tell the FC how they have found and put the pieces of the puzzle together. And they'll be hoping for a very shining season up next. We've seen uh, in the past how they walk about with things. Done so well in the I-League second division. Playing the I-League on merit. The champions. Back with Mohammedan. Time is running out. 20 more minutes remaining in this fixture. Samuela to Beneston. Waiting for the overlap here. Samuela again. Tita mind defending. Look at that. Delhi FC. That's uh, really clean football from them, to be honest. And uh, as you're talking about defending, oh, what a sight. What a sight has this been from the side heading all the way from Delhi. And now here they come, knocking on the doors. Uh, a lovely setup onto the far right. Sajia Barboza, a bit of step overs, looking for a cross. The cross comes in, but no Delhi FC players out there in the centre. Eventually, though, it falls at the feet of one of them. And eventually Delhi FC now looking for a bit more shooting space. Trying to explore the central channel. Let's one fly there. Pape Gassama. And uh, he's overshot that one. Should have done better. And finally looks like the substitution is on. It is going to be Samuel who will be heading out. And Kasimov will be making his way to the center which means Mormon and Sporting they are going to roll the dice for one final time and they will expect results straight into action Kasimov a bit of a drag back from uh, Beniston they do not have any other option but to go out and perform Samad Ali Malik goes the crowned route a lovely little control Tanmoy and now Kasimov can he turn hero for the home fans and that's what the picture was in his mind but the outcome wasn't quite there what a sizzling start what a sizzling impact would that have been he would have turned into a super sub already but I think the idea is clear 18 minutes remaining and both these teams they will be trying to impose their own sets of ideologies Delhi FC of course will be desperate for a third goal if possible if not go forward and park the bus do not allow Mohammed and Sporting to invade their defenses and Mohammed and Sporting on the contrary will be hoping for at least salvaging a point from this one and not go out on a losing note they've had such a brilliant tournament that's a foul for sure it looks like God of Rauth was brought down and a free kick going Delhi's way. And there you see. And looking one way, trying to go the other. Foot in from Tanmay, giving away a free kick. And Delhi FC can really turn dangerous. Uh, they have plans from the set piece. And... Uh, I would have loved to see Balwan today. He's not with the squad right now, but uh, these players on pitch are doing enough. Uh, headed out and uh, not really out of danger. And they will 
contain themselves and maintain the possession they know they're on a 2 nil cushion the job is to see this out uh, and stun the champions uh, an attempt from distance oh just coming down at the last moment off the crossbar and maybe a few a little fingertip from Chong Te there oh wow this is surprising we've already seen a couple of uh, sizzling stunners there today in the afternoon in the real Kashmir clash what a strike that would have been had it been on target I think uh, while trying to go for the save there had a bit of a cramp at the moment which means a corner kick has been awarded so a bit of fingertips there from uh, the likes of uh, Biaka Jongte he'll receive some treatment I think he leaped up pretty high must have been a hamstring pull they have made all five substitutions if I'm not mistaken Mohammed in sporting and that'll be a bit of a blow for them if uh, Jongte cannot carry on very hot and humid conditions uh, getting a start for one occasion here hopefully it'll be okay to continue a bit of cramps uh, maybe final quarter of an hour remaining Look there. Oh my God. Delhi FC look like they'll take all three points uh, home there's good Tej on your screen You're leading the Delhi FC side he has been a part of this Mohammedan side in the past look at that shot again tipping just in time almost causing trouble <laughs> it's probably the landing as you mentioned Rohit more alarming signs here for Mohammedan Sporting on a night like this on a night where they will be lifting the silverware the question is if Biaka has to go off who will be donning the gloves today somebody from the remaining 10 members will have to don the gloves Bender Baswas and Andrei Shonashov the duo has been absolutely brilliant I think even if he is injured there isn't much left for Vyaka uh, Jomte he will uh, have to continue right now or else uh, his team may opt to go down to 10 men and bring out somebody from their playing 11 to don the gloves who is it going to be and Rishan Ashab of course what a sensational job he has done throughout this tournament has been absolutely brilliant good to see that uh, Biaka Jongte is back on his feet he stepped in the boots of Padam Chetri not the easiest ones to fill a very inspiring story about Padam Chetri I read today and in fact he went against his mom's decision we'll get back to that discussion there's the corner floated into the mix there from Pape Gisama and eventually it's going to be a throw-in at the moment for uh, Mohamedan Sp Sporting uh, Kasimov starts that quickly enough and here's Kasimov uh, all the way from the right a square pass towards its central channel they'll have to come fast they'll have to come thick at Delhi FC if they are to salvage a point if they are to bow out on a blaze of glory Karandeep Singh on the left Karandeep Singh to Benestin Barreto Benestin Barreto well despite uh, the scoreline we can already see the colors coming out the coloring flares in the stands but Marvin and Sporting Kasimov I think they will be forcing uh, all of their power it eventually eludes everyone there and the danger is not over it keeps on lingering on at the moment that's a nice pass there Benestin Barreto trying to get hold of proceedings uh, 1v2 situation and eventually was dispossessed by Rahul Rawat <coughs> 11 matches unbeaten Mohammedan Sporting and that one might end here tonight uh, but they will anyway be celebrating with the trophy just that the ending is not an expected one from uh, Mohammedan's point of view but what a show from Delhi FC at the Yuvarati Kriranger now this is one stadium all teams want to play once 
just enhances your performance as well with the quality. Renowned names in Indian football already in the stands, and why not? After all, uh, this is the night of curtains, this is the swan song of uh, this year's IT. An incredible tournament, an incredible display, and here comes Morbid and Sporting. A bit of uh, miscalculations, a bit of uh, wrong anticipations allowing a Delhi FC to reclaim possession for themselves and here they come all the way from the right and once again Bhupinder after a long time is latched onto the ball Marvin and Sporting being stretched out you can hear the roars here a bit of frustration being announced from the stands they want some more attacks this is a totally different 11 on pitch right now altogether for Mohammedan. a shot from distance not a bad one the Jongte is still having to be at his best Sergio Barboza the flares and the smoke bombs on Sergio Barboza's attempt early celebrations have begun they would have liked if they ended the season with a win, but either way, they are the champions, deserved ones. We saw their performances throughout the season, and the ones have seen them throughout. Oh, wonderful pass forward. This might be another one for Delhi. The third goal has looked elusive. As a God of Rawat fancy this chance. He's tried time and time again. What a lovely release once again from Tundumba Singh. And Gaurav Rawat wanted to go for glory. It was slightly acute, I would say, in that case, in that angle there. And yes, you were talking about the smoke bombs and flares. Of course, the fans have introduced football in an absolutely new incarnation uh, in India. They love it. And yes, again, uh, let's face this. Pashwar, one game doesn't define your entire season. At the same time, it can make a lot of difference. But the time for differences have gone. Uh, Mohammedan Sporting has already clinched the crown. And as we will witness them today, wearing it, wearing it in front of a packed house at Yuva Bharati Krirangan. And uh, not just fans, but we can already see bigger names in Indian football, particularly the likes of Kalyan Chaube gracing the stands himself what a moment is it going to be the black and white brigade to lift the Ailey trophy and eventually officially confirm their presence in ISL next year and uh, it could have been a sensational chance but I reckon that was again a bit too high for him he couldn't really go forward with a full powered header should have brought it down was left free left alone not able to generate the power from uh, that distance could have just taken a touch and brought it down a difficult option that would have been the best option for David and another free kick in favor of Delhi and will they also maintain a clean sheet and that'll be another positive to take home for Delhi FC it is uh, their night at the moment uh, and they are trying to pull up an upset the flashlights on along with the flares and smoke bombs and they are creating an ambience and atmosphere at the Salt Lake Stadium we will soon see the champions wearing their crown taking the medals and the trophies but right now they have seven minutes of additional time and some added on minutes to play We'll find out if they have a miracle on the card. So maybe the Neston. And they will fancy their chances. David was free, not released. And now Karandeep uh, from wide left. Uh, Sheikh Fayaz uh, hasn't made much of an impact coming on, but now he can. Sheikh Fayaz, uh, there are options in the box. Beneston is free. A little push from David, says the ref. And a free kick for Delhi FC. David Hamar, of course, uh, he's had a brilliant display as well throughout the tournament. The way he would burst onto life and a bit of uh, juggling skills there from uh, 
Abhishek Calvin. Just the kind of uh, joyous mood that uh, Delhi FC is in. And why not? When you come, when you defeat, or not, I, I won't say defeat, because it's still uh, eight minutes to go of regulation time, so apologies for that. Or when you dominate, when you take a lead against uh, the reigning champions in that too, in their own den, in the prestigious Yuva Bharati Krirangan, that calls for a celebration. They would fancy a third here, the FC. They've tried time and again. They've missed on the opportunity. But hopefully, there will not be latter feel hard done for those chances not taken the game is still on I would say one goal can really make it interesting here for Mohammedan the LFC got numerous opportunities to make it three or four they haven't even though their attacks are still on but you never know yes you never know absolutely how in fact how would you Football. We were just talking about uh, being a masterclass of uh, uncertainties, being a masterclass of uh, being precarious affairs with twists and turns uh, hidden in every alternate moment. Here comes Delhi FC now from the right. Now the cross comes floating in. A header attempted, but to be honest, uh, that was miles away from the goal. And despite uh, God of Rawat fancying his chances uh, from a far away header, that went miles away. And yes, uh, talking about the dignitaries, uh, we have already seen the likes of uh, who are gracing today's game. We have already seen the likes of Kalyan Chaube and uh, another big name uh, that is amongst us a few moments ago. We caught him in the frame and that was of uh, Arup Biswas, uh, the current Minister of uh, Sports in West Bengal, of course. At the moment, the fans, I think, uh, and there you go, that's Arup Biswas for you. Again, a man who has contributed handsomely in terms of uh, West Bengal's sporting circuit and quite obviously is already present uh, today in the Salt Lake Stadium to witness another Kolkata giant uh, set foot in the glorious uh, excellence of uh, Indian football, Indian Super League rather, Mohammedan sporting. And uh, as we talk, uh, Hudson Diaz is making his way out in a stretcher. We'll have to figure out uh, whether he will continue or not. Pape Gasama, he's also been sensational today. He has uh, gone up, gone down all over the pitch. Tremendous work rate. Here comes Marvin in Sporting again. Well, then talking about dignitaries and contributions. Uh, Massive contribution from Bunker Hill, as we mentioned, and we saw Mr. Deepak Singh in attendance too. All of them present here. Playing a few sharp passes uh, right at the edge of the box. Uh, space allowed. Powered through the defense, uh, but a well off target by Samadali Malik. Uh, sums up the night for them. They've been this far away from winning today's contest at least. As Kolkata gears up for another festival in less than 24 hours. It looks like the Kolkata football fans will have a festival tonight already. Not exactly in the way they would have wanted. Not in a very unblemished manner. But the trophy, the I-League trophy, that is nothing short of... I don't know what exactly to say because that's something that's glorious and glistening. Here comes Morbidan Sporting, just trying to keep the ball away from Delhi FC. But Delhi FC as well, kind of relentless in their pursuit. Morbidan Sporting, a decent snatch then that occasion. And there are three defenders, but now it can be 3v3. Here's an opportunity, Benestin Barreto coming in from the left. Looking around for more numbers, Kasimov on the ball, Kasimov releases. Uh, the ball forward takes a deflection and goes out of play. Well, uh, is there still something remaining in this fixture? If Mohamedan Sporting can get a goal now, maybe the additional minutes uh, 
will come to life. Kasimov, that's a lovely bit of work. Here comes the cross. It eludes everyone. Here comes the shot and that has gone wide. Oh, what a moment had it been or would have that been. What a moment of reckoning. What a moment of belief. And we were talking about Alexis. And there you go. He's in the stands as well. Oh, we are all missing him on the pitch, aren't we? But Samad Ali Malik, captain, rising from the back. Would have loved to see that uh, fired in. It missed uh, the target. For the second time in the last few minutes, Samad has come up. But, uh, late in the game, very tiring. A bit of injury concerns. Uh, we are approaching 90. We'll see how much is added on the next generation as well. Up here in the stands. Uh, that's the love for football here. They'll all surely be celebrating the trophy. Waiting for it. But would have loved to see at least a goal to bring a smile on their faces. It can still be a resemblance of uh, what happened in uh, their last meeting against their FC. Just that uh, the winner will be different. It was a 2-1 in favour of Mohammedan when they travelled to their FC's home ground. It was... Uh, Remsanga Fanai scoring the goal who is also missing today's match due to injury concerns. Uh, Bali Gagandeep scored for Delhi FC late in the game. It was the 98th minute of the game and 8 minutes have been added on here. Do we see a reverse of what happened there in the first leg fixture? The fans are eager to see a goal and why wouldn't they? What has been uh, a terrific display of footballing brilliance. I think it should also cap off with something incredible. Kasimov. And there was a bit of push there coming in all the way from Gaurav Rawat. One of the two substitutes uh, introduced by Delhi FC. Delhi still has uh, three substitutions that can be done. And Mohammedan Sporting, given the fact that they have committed more numbers to the cause, this is an opportunity for them. Here they come all the way from the right now. Mohammedan Sporting, do they have at least that first goal to send the remaining minutes into utter chaos and frenzy? Here's a cross, could have been better though. And that goes out of play, which means a throw in. Hopes keep on pouring for Mohammedan Sporting, but can they eventually turn it? into something a lot more concrete. And they will cry. Eight minutes is a huge chunk of additional time. Tried to be clever, Kasimov. Surely has made an impact since coming on, Kasimov. And, uh, just again showing why there were talks about him. Oh, stayed in control. Goes down for the second time. Nothing given and Delhi might launch uh, a quick attack here. The crowd doesn't like it. And they wanted the free kick. And now James from the back. Uh. Moment in Sporting. Trying to find something for themselves. At least one goal for the audience to celebrate. For the dignitaries uh, to witness. Because they have been goal scoring they have been a goal scoring machine altogether in this year's i league can they find one that should be a free kick there shake fayaz trying to take that quickly tempers flaring again taken along the carpet door there comes the cross headed away to safety the inch is not over but now delhi fc has control All the way back. And they will try to get at least one goal. Again, a bit of pressure taken. Irshad. I think so many equations come into play seeing this performance. Uh, where Andrew Chanishov is also clear how he needs the likes of Joseph Ajay and Kasimov for the next season. He's very clear of whom he needs. 
and they would want to maintain a set team. This is one mistake many teams uh, uh, do when going into a different league or sometimes a different stage. You do not want to break a set team. You can of course add on, but uh, breaking it is in the best of options. But then uh, other clubs will also have uh, an eye on some of these players who have performed exceedingly well, the likes of Rem Sangha, David and uh, Bikash as well. Padam Chetri too, to be honest. Rumours are already uh, doing the rounds. And of course, uh, we won't talk about the rumours to be precise. But yes, when it comes to the transfer season, when it comes to team building season, I think Kolkata, the Kolkata football fans are always extremely hyped up. I can tell you as a kid myself, all these transfer rumours used to be one particular phase of uh, being excited for me. When I would hear some uh, big names coming to my club, I reckon in that occasion the ball went out of play. And Delhi FC now taking it easy and slow. And Rishonishov still animated, still on the sidelines, still driving his team there. Well, uh, Benison Barreto, that uh, again is a 50 50 call as the rule states. Yeah, the ball will have to go out completely from that one particular angle. It was not easy to say whether that did go out completely or not of course the majority of it uh, looked out the Singh will take his time and once again Abhishek Calvin has gone down I think uh, just those crucial seconds that are being stolen away Minister Barreto you'll also have to give him the plaudits uh, today may not have been his day but I think he's done an excellent job and again in, in a tournament like this there will be occasions where you will possibly have uh, where you have to play 24 games. There will be times when you win some, you lose some. But Mohamed and Sporting, if they go on, if this is what the scoreline remains till the very end, this is only going to be their second defeat. And two defeat in 24 games tells you a story, Bhashwar, doesn't it? It does. But at the same time, having a look at the away side, and they will end with five matches being unbeaten, four wins in a row. And they will have uh, just four wins less than Mohammedan Sporting. Also says a lot about how they have not been the luckiest of sides in terms of being in contention with the title. As at times, uh, some harsh decisions. At times, some 50-50 uh, balls not falling in their favour. A few own goals as well. And that happened against Mohammedan itself in the previous fixture. There was an own goal in that fixture. David Lal Sangha will feel frustrated. Two more minutes then. Oh, that's uh, the studs on uh, the shin. Frustrations uh, sinking in there. And I think uh, he's saying that there was a bit of push as well. This has actually been a game which has really lived up to its expectations despite the fact Mohamedan Sporting not really blooming up to their uh, majestic spectacle. David Hamar has also been handed over a yellow card. Again, David Hamar has been absolutely phenomenal throughout the tournament. Uh, thoroughly stellar, showcased why he is one of uh, the finest rising talents in this year's I-League. Uh, he was not just uh, sensational in I-League, he was also brilliant in uh, the Calcutta Football League as well. That's another lovely ball and sent forward. A very well leave there. There comes the cross and what a finish! That is goal number three. And who else than the Brazilian? Sergio Barbosa. The celebrations reign supreme. The defending champions, rather the reigning champions, humbled. to be said that's how brilliant they've been in the night everyone thought it was going out he kept it in and Sergio Barbosa continued his run and that's what per perseverance that what determination and not giving up can do to you look at the pass though the entire defense fooled and Bupinda once again tireless on to it and uh, this might be the last kick off the game here 
just a quick part though, uh, that is while in this uh, entire positioning, Gaurav Rawat was out in the centre, he let it go. Uh, so if he would have latched on to the ball, that would have been offside. There was a very tricky off the ball move. A quick restart from Hamadan. Maybe one goal for their fans. The drums are out even though they're down by three. Kasimov, uh, he'll try to shoot from distance. Oh, that has uh, somehow gone in. A wonderful effort from Calvin. I'm not sure who that goal will be credited to. But eventually, a little smile. Maybe Beniston, maybe Kasimov. But the substitutes have at least got to one back. And the fans love it. Why not? Oh, what a strike. An absolute pile driver. That will go to Kasimov. Stunning, stunning hit. Talk about finishes. They may, they may be going down. But this man from Uzbekistan, he knows how to finish things off. But that will be it. And the last page might have seen a hurdle. But the story has been a one to cherish. Mohammedan Sporting, they are the champions of I League 2023-24. Delhi FC have pulled up an upset. But celebrations will continue. They advance into the Indian Super League. Ten years ago, we mentioned how they got their last home victory here before they went down from the I League. This time, they haven't got a victory, but they go up. They go promoted into the Indian Super League. Not a night to remember, but certainly will be a night to remember as well. A decade of perseverance, uh, perseverance, a decade of belief, a decade of optimism and a decade of relentless pursuit. It all came together. It was not easy. Yan Law himself is a former Mohammedan sporting coach. So he knows what it takes. He was also a part of this entire grand tapestry of things. He was a part of the grand scheme that was being plotted, that was being written and it came straight from the heavens. The heavens cracked open, exhilaration rained down upon the black and white brigade from Kolkata. And the Kolkata football fans, brace yourselves for next year in the Indian Super League. It's not going to be one. It's not going to be two. It is going to be three juggernauts. Mohammedan Sporting Club joins the Mohan Bagan Super Giants and East Bengal in the Indian Super League. Their planning was different. Uh, the planning was to end with a win, but what a show from Delhi FC. Friendly words exchanged. Uh, they showed some respect to the champions. Uh, they showed a wonderful gesture at the start of the game, but that is how you perform on the pitch. An example from Delhi FC. And uh, just a glimpse to all the Indian football fans. Uh, this is how intense the I League is. You never count anyone out. Uh, Srinidhi taken fought till the last day. We saw Intakashi suddenly stepping up. Intakashi, though, went the league unbeaten for 11 matches. Uh, but uh, we have seen shining performances from all these teams. Delhi FC as well coming to the Salt Lake Stadium, showing everyone their class. Uh, but Mohammedan Sporting. This will go down as their night even after a loss. They will be celebrating the trophy with their fans. We all will be witnessing the history being made here, being written here in cold. 52 massive points to claim the throne. Well, we have talked a lot about uh, the footballers. We've talked a lot about Mr. Andrew Shonishov. But a few more names that should be mentioned. This is an ode to them for Mohammedan Sporting. Their team manager, Dependu Biswas, whom we have talked about extensively. Their head coach, Andrew Shonishov, once again. Of course, their captain, Joseph Adiyai, he have, will have to be taught. Their goalkeeping coach, Lalit Thapa. Their strength and conditioning coach, Aslan Mirza. Their physiotherapist, Mr. Bilal Qureshi. Another physiotherapist, Saurav Ghosh, their kit manager, Om Prakash Katwa, and of course, their assistant coach, Alison Karadine. All of them came together. Of course, uh, we are missing out the likes of their analysts as well, but their analysts have worked tirelessly behind the scenes just to ensure that this team doesn't wither away. And with all of that, uh, 
being said with all of that being written i think we also need to talk about Trinity Deccan they tried they drove hard and they drove with everything they could despite a victory today the damage was already done eventually they are the runners up they finish off uh, with 48 points for a drift from the newly crowned champions Mohammedan Sporting take a bow take an absolute bow and there are all the big names here all together Shabir Ali as well former Indian footballer a legendary name of course uh, in Indian football we're seeing Kalyan Chaube as well and he's no introduction of course uh, and the fans uh, are enjoying themselves and uh, they know that their time has come but uh, Andrew Chanishov uh, he has been clever in his approach through this match he has found what to do and what not to do moving forward with this team of course uh, there will be alterations additions made and uh, they'll be soon starting uh, their plans uh, ahead of the next season of course Kalyan Chobe he will be a happy man he has been working uh, extremely hard has been very diligent in the Indian footballing scenes ever since uh, he took over he has done a sensational bit of work and this man itself uh, today he is present in the center with his family as they say that uh, he comes not with responsibilities but with an eye with a vision for doing something bigger and as the fans celebrate as we brace everyone Kasimov finishing things off and I think uh, like father like son if we may say they will be coming together later we don't know yet but what a grandstand finish they went down fighting but Kasimov said before I bow out of this clash before I bow out of this contest let me show you what metal I am made of as he unloaded an absolute thunderbolt a tracer bullet from range and there's the prestigious trophy which they are all waiting for to have a touch on to celebrate together the bench the reserves everyone together have been a part of this success I'm glad how you mentioned all the coaching staff and the managers and the assistant managers and one man missing today from action not one there has been a few Joseph J along with Alexis Gomez special find the Argentine he was brought in by Sudeva last season well as everybody uh, comes together in celebrations as everyone comes together in uh, showing what this team is made of in uh, notifying what they have been doing for a decade now I think uh, one particular loud shout out should go to the entire unit for doing what they have put today and uh, writers get ready historians get ready the history will have to be rewritten everybody who's on the readout on the lookout for the newly updated records they will have to be incorporated and these are not ruffled feathers of a history book this are glam new this are glistening this are glittering pages of a new dawn of football in Kolkata the celebrations will be long lasting tonight uh, the fans are having a moment uh, with their favorites uh, Joseph Ajay throughout the season two Argentines in the form of Juan Carlos Neller and Alexis Gomez uh, they've had their moments uh, Alexis scoring a banger for goal in that uh, winning. Moment of against Shillong Lechong scored the first goal. Standing on a lap of victory lap if that can be said uh, already. But uh, all the players have played such a key part. Uh,
it's a long way to the crowning moment. Of course, they are setting themselves up. And uh, yes, uh, talking about their I-League records, uh, well, there have been occasions where they have tried hard. In 2007-8, they were in the second division of I-League. They finished in the fifth position. And then uh, once they were a part of the Premier Division, uh, they finished uh, quite at the bottom half of the points table. And uh, then once again, continuing uh, to play in the second division for a while, they eventually made it back to the I-League Elite Division in 2013-14. And once again, they got relegated the very next year. Then uh, five back-to-back -back years, in fact, six back-to-back -back years, they were a part of... Uh, I like Division 2, but then they came back, they came back fighting, they came back uh, struggling and uh, most importantly, eventually it was uh, a long time later that it took them. They came very close, they came mighty close at least uh, in 2021-22 and eventually they have been declared the champions of 2023-24. They have been a team that kept on persisting, that kept on believing and as the victory lap goes out, the highlights of the game is all set for you. It started off on a very sweet note with a guard of honor and then Mohamedan Sporting was the first one to fire the warning shots. An absolute uh, pearl of being driven and it went wide and then out of nowhere turning the tide, Alishar scored the opening goal for Delhi FC but then uh, once again Delhi FC came uh, mighty close towards scoring had it not been for Biaka Jongte it could have been a different story another guilt edged opportunity almost uh, handed on a silver platter and Eddie Hernandez somehow headed that out and then of course uh, Abhishek Calvin played a crucial critical role standing under the stakes a few Heated exchanges as well, a couple of yellow cards being shown. And with all of that coming in, this man stood tall. This man stood fighting. And then that second goal, what a stunning strike from Goyari. Latching on to a sensational release before belting one into the back of the net. Well, and there were moments uh, for Delhi FC more than that. Uh, and a few chances for Mohammed and Eddie Hernandez there was at the end of a few but he couldn't convert the chances it was difficult to be fair to him the chances kept coming Irshad with the header and this was the second half and then the FC stepped up again and Koyari couldn't connect there should have had three goals there the FC by then they eventually had but uh, Mohammed and pulled one and back at the ending stages chances after chances, Calvin Abhishek has to be praised. Beneston impacted a bit after coming on from the bench. So did Sergio Barbosa and Kasimov. But Sergio Barbosa was so eager to get on the score sheet from the moment he came on. He scored a praise and a hat trick in the second half appearances which he made in the past. But here was his moment after a while. Not this one really. He had more chances here and there. This one he tried to find the near post finish. Kasimov lining a few shots up. This was the first of them. And this one dipping effort from Papi Kasama. There were so many to talk about. Uh, even Vinil Pujari had an attempt. Uh, and this was the moment when they made it 3-0 uh, uh, just uh, after. And a pass played through the entire defense and everyone were fooled. Uh, before that we'll of course see a few more chances for Mohammedan. Samad Ali Malik driving a few in. A yellow card for David on that occasion. It has been a story entertaining. But here was uh, Sergio Barbosa eventually getting his goal. Pupinda finding another assist. What a night he has had to. 3 to nil. it was. It could have been a clean sheet. But how can the champions not even score a goal? And hence, they soon got one. The celebration, very animated. Kasimov striker. And it was a strong hand uh, from Calvin. Not strong enough though to stop that going in. Yeah, they tried as much as they could. They tried their very best coming, knocking on the doors over and over again. But eventually it was Kasimov to finish things off. 
But then that wasn't enough as the final whistle decided the fate of today's fixture. I think Delhi FC will be a happy side as well, taking three points away from Kolkata. And of course, the reigning champions. And Sergio Barbosa, what a season he's had as well. Late resurgence, but that comes at a lot of perseverance. That comes with a lot of perseverance. And uh, before the celebrations begin, we might also see the points stable in a while because uh, Mohammedan, of course, on top, but Delhi FC have climbed a bit uh, here. And uh, in mood, in vibe. They're all enjoying the time. The man from Honduras, uh, he has scored just enough uh, for his team. And there's the goals again. This was the first uh, from uh, Ali Shah, which started things. It almost seems like a long time back now. Such has been the intensity of the game. But Goyari, what a fine finish. We'd have to praise the pass as well. And that was the second of the night. There were two more to come. One for Delhi, one for Mohammedan. Yeah, they kept on. I think uh, the best part about Delhi's uh, gameplay today was that uh, they kept on believing in themselves and they kept on creating the short passes. They kept on uh, knocking on the doors over and over again. But I think uh, what has been more uh, or what has been incredible is that they didn't let Mohammedan Sporting to attack pretty frequently because once Mohammedan starts attacking, it goes without saying that uh, they will be coming at you with everything they have in their arsenal. Yes, a few big names were missing from the lineup, but then football being a game where even the greats have fallen at one point in time. They wouldn't. Uh, they didn't let Mohammedan take control of the game at all, right from the word go. We look back at the season and this year in the I League. It has been such a such a twist and the turn of a season, I would say. In the first half, it looked like something else. In the second half, it looked something different. But one team who didn't fumble at top was Mohammedan Sporting. Tough times we saw for the two Manipur teams who finish at the bottom of the table. Niroka and Trao, it will be difficult for them. And... Uh, Course, the teams like the new entrants especially have been impressive Namdhari today beating real Kashmir at their home that's how impressive uh, they have been today uh, today has been a day of surprises but at the same time Shilong Lejong were finished eighth uh, they at a certain time were looking very very dangerous uh, they were the only other team uh, halfway through who were unbeaten apart from Mohammedan Sporting and then lost the plot with a sudden loss against Izol FC. So one or two matches have really changed the fortune of some teams, especially uh, the likes of Shilong Lechong and Gokulam Kerala, uh, who have not been in the familiar best defensive shape, uh, conceded a lot of goals this season. And finished third though, as Srini the Deccan came close yet again, finishing second. They had 48 points at the end. And uh, one common fact, in both the two seasons where promotion was brought into the Indian Super League, uh, uh, Punjab FC uh, last season, and they finished with 52 points, uh, even though with uh, two matches less. But uh, Mohammedan SC also finished as champions with 52 points. So 52 being the magic number in the last two years of asking. Well, a lot of numbers, a lot of stats and facts have been thrown out during the entire course of the tournament. Of course. Uh, now, I think this is one particular moment that Mohammedan Sporting has been waiting for uh, ages now. And of course, uh, this victory also comes up with the additional motivation of being a part of Indian Super League next season. And uh, yes, while we talk about, while we slowly head towards the celebration scenes of the trophy, uh, let us quickly mention a few names that we have seen in action. Uh, throughout the campaign for Mohammedan Sporting. Of course, the likes of Eddie Hernandez uh, will go down in history. The likes of Bikas Singh will go down in history. A very promising youngster. And uh, then Samad Ali Malik, an experienced name, leading Mohammedan once again in this final clash. Uh, Samuel Lalmuan Puya that you extensively talked about. 
and uh, here you go the honoraries uh, all set as well to be a part of this uh, celebrations and of course uh, they have been uh, they have extensively supported Indian football and he is getting back to the players again uh, the likes of Kozlov uh, he was more of uh, I won't say replacement but he was more of a backup but a backup which uh, was indeed a firepower altogether. Kasimov, how can you forget him? Uh, Beneston Barreto came on as substitute in most of the occasions. David Hamar, Zoding Liana, all these names, they are massive and uh, they kind of create some significant uh, momentum. And uh, with that being said, also players from uh, other fixtures, the likes of Srinidhi Deccan, uh, how can you forget uh, David Castaneda, how can you forget uh, Rilwan Hassan who's played so well. And definitely youngsters uh, for this season, they will have uh, something glorious to talk about, something uh, important to talk about in the upcoming season as well. Well, an eager wait right now and a few moments from now we'll see the champions lifting the trophy. And this, uh, there couldn't have been a better stage for this. The Salt Lake Stadium, Jiyuv Bharati Kurangan. One special venue from hosting the Under-17 World Cup finale. Uh, to hosting numerous battles uh, in the history of football. It's my absolute pleasure to be a part of today's historic event at the Salt Lake Stadium. And what a fantastic match it was to witness an incredible season of the I-League 2023-2024. And indeed the last match of the I-League 2023-2024 lived up to its hype and did not disappoint the fans watching the game in the stadium and live on the television screens back home. And now, moving on to the post-match presentation ceremony of the I-League, 2023 to 2024 season, we would first like to welcome and invite all the esteemed dignitaries on the stage. Mr. Kalyan Chaube, the president of the All India Football Federation. Mr. Shubhrata Datta, the chairman of the Indian Football Association. Mr. Syed Nagvi, the executive committee member, All India Football Federation. Mr. Arif Ali, the Executive Committee Member, All India Football Federation. Mr. Mohammed Syed, the Executive Committee Member, All India Football Federation. Mr. Ghulam Rabani, the Executive Committee Member, All India Football Federation. Mr. Imtiaz Hussain, the Executive Committee Member, All India Football Federation. And Mr. Shabi Ali, the Executive Committee Member of All India Football Federation. I would like to request our dignitaries to come onto the stage. We would like to start off the ceremony by thanking us all, our commercial and local partners, who have helped us in making this event a grand success marketing partners the football sports development limited and the official ball partner nivea and now i request the representatives from the mohammedan sporting club to please come onto the stage and collect the winner's check worth rupees one crore rupees from mr kalyan chobe and mr subrata datta photograph thank you so much
Now it's time for the big moment that we have all been waiting for to welcome the champions of the I League 2023 2024 Mohammed Sporting Club onto the stage for the medal ceremony. People should start cheering because the cheering students stop, right? So start cheering for the Marmanus Morning Club. Come on. The, the way they have played was brilliant and superb to, uh, in the whole season of the I-League 2023 to 2024. And they deserve all the appreciation and the love from the people out here in Kolkata. Because as we all know, that Kolkata and its love for football has been immense. Well, and time for the individual medals, the gold being So right now honored. we are standing here and we should have the appreciation for the players who have been working hard day and night for this moment to happen. So can we have a huge round of applause? Come on! Well, appreciation is what Show they deserve. Them that how much we love football. I can hear you. The sound is not even in decibels. Come on. I want 120 decibels. Yes, that's the Josh. Well, in moments of wait. A few more moments before they lift the prestigious trophy. There will be glitters and emotions all around here. The officials of the AIFF, the president, Mr. Kalyan Chobe, all of them here congratulating the champions. This man out there in the frame. Uh just a few moments ago taking the medal of course he's been another reckoning figure David Abjoti Gupta an analyst at the side and he's done a sensational job as and well now, in fact the entire team's like done well I the captain of the Mohammedan Sporting Club Mr. Samad Ali Malik to kindly collect the I-League Champions Trophy from Mr. Kalyan Chobe <laughs> the cheer should have stopped come on louder Three cheers for Mohammed Sporting Club. Come on, hey people, red. Well, there's a reason why three of them are here. They've led the side at different that times of the season. And the champions of I League 2023-24, Mohammedan Sporting, are lifting the trophy. They'll soon move aside to celebrate with the team.
that all the captains are here. Joseph Ache at times, Zerling Liana at times, with Samad Ali Malik as well. The crown that they all waited for. Thank you so much. And there it is, the celebrations have begun. The champions of the I League 2023-24, they walk into the Indian Super League. And what a moment for them, down to the history books. Another golden chapter added. As they say, let the celebrations begin. A night of endless celebrations continue. And uh, I'll now try and show you one final glimpse of uh, what this means to the club, what this means to the institution, what this means to all the players who have squeezed out their heart and sweat. They have done everything they could. They have fought with everything they could. And at the end of the day, the reward awaits them all. Thank you everyone for uh, being a part of this tournament with us as well. It was a pleasure for us to bring the game to you. And uh, of course the stats and the glimpses of the match will be coming up. But with all of that being said, let's just say that this is one tournament that will always remain in the heart of Indian football. And everyone, once again, presenting you all the champions of ID 2023-24, Mohammedan Sporting, also clinching their ticket to the Indian Super League for the upcoming season. Well, and that is all from the presentation. We'll have a look at the stats of the game before bidding it to you from our side as well for the season. But it has been a show throughout uh, all the 24 matches uh, they have played. And not just this team, but every team has given us a treat to enjoy, a treat uh, to cherish. And this was uh, a picture-perfect venue to end things with uh, at Kolkata, with the trophy being uh, lifted by the home side. As they have been a team that kind of deserves a crown. And yes, so there you go. The stats for the day. Final score 1-3 in favour of Delhi FC. And uh, ball possession kind of close. 48-52. 13 shots from Mohamed and Sporting. 5 of them on target. 14 shots from Delhi FC. 5 of them on target. 13 fouls from Mohamed and Sporting. 8 from Delhi FC. 3 yellow cards being shown to the hosts. 13 shots from Mormon and Sporting, of course, Eddie Hernandez uh, with two of them, Kozlov with a couple of them as well, Kasimov with a couple of them, one of them with certainly that phenomenal goal, Samuel with two of them, Angusana with one, Benest and Barreto with one. Also talking about uh, the shots of Delhi FC, 14 shots. Barboza Jr. with three of them, Goyari with three of them, one of them was goal for sure, Barboza as well scored a goal, Gasama with a couple of them, Gaurav Rawat with one, Hudson Diaz with one, and Alasher with that all-important opening goal. And the foul stats are here, Juan Carlos Nella with three of them, David Amar twice, Samuela uh, two of them, Tanmay Kosh with two, uh, twice his name on that chart, Bikash and Karan once, 13 fouls in total from Mohammedan and there had been a few fouls from Delhi FC two eight of them to be precise Korf Rawat with two Akash Tirki and Vinil with two as well uh, Papi Kasama and Alishar Alishar having his name in every stat here a one foul each and the points table here Mohammedan right on top with 52 points. Uh, they deserve a champion. Just two losses in 24 matches. A massive. Uh, but at the same time, if you look down the table, Srinidhi finished second. Kokulam on third. Intakashi and Real Kashmir have put up a show. But Delhi FC with that sudden rise. Uh, four back-to-back -back wins to end the season. Have moved up to sixth and finished mid-table.
What a game of snake and ladders has this been in terms of points table. High Octon encounters from one corner of the country to the other, from the hills to the deserts, from the oceans to the plains. And that was the final goal of the evening that came from Sergio Barboza. A lovely setup, and there Sergio Barboza poking home from point blank range. The celebration saw so that is slightly different. Uh, and that was that uh, final goal from. Uh, uh, look at Andres Chernyshov, he was delighted at the strike. And eventually all of that for the coveted trophy as the smoke bombs, as the flares came out. Uh, Marvin and Sporting are the champions of I-League 2023-2024. Well, of course, uh, and uh, we'll see them in a different stage. But next season, this is it for this season, of course. Uh, there will be more teams with more motivation coming into the I-League. The contest always alive, always very intriguing and exciting in the I-League. End-to-end, neck-to-neck action. Uh, be it Delhi FC, be it in Takashi, be it Srinivy. The gateway is open or rather it's gonna be open once again as one of these teams will look to find a way even Shilong Lechong have been impressive some of these players will change colors some of these clubs uh, will change uh, venues as well they have struggled to find a home this season uh, the likes of Intakashi at times uh, Trau and Naroka will hope to return but that is it uh, from our side at full time it's uh, Delhi FC 3 Mohammedan SC 1 and the champions defeated but they celebrate and move into the Indian Super League and that's us uh, Rohit and Bhashwar signing off for one last time thank you everyone you've been a lovely audience uh, that is the curtains for I League 2023-24 see you again in another tournament on another day thank you everyone and good night